Hey guys, I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about Oath of the Gatewatch. These boxes are getting really hard to get for retail. If you see them in Walmart for $40, they're probably worth picking up. Uh, right now on TCG Player, it's like $45, but a lot of them don't have shipping. On eBay, it's the same problem. Shipping these tend to be very expensive. So if you can buy them and relatively cheap, that makes sense to me. These fat packs are very unique in the fact that they have four art lands that are waste. Waste, remember, is kind of, it's a common slot, so it's not like if you open a ton of boxes of this, you won't have multiple waste, but the symmetry, and it's all about symmetry. So I remember uh, the price difference between a sealed, back before we went to Zendikar and Gatewatts and all that stuff, a sealed packet of the same land as an open packet would demand two times the price. So as long as you have these sealed, then you should probably, I mean, it's a lot more expensive sealed as a land packet than they are for the exact same cards open. And that was the way it was for battle for originals in the card. I like these, these were over, not overproduced, uh, what happened was Zendikar had a ton and people were scalping Zendikar and they still are scalping. You can go on any Craigslist where the, they are asking for something like, I don't know, what they what are they asking for? Something ridiculous, like $55 for a, a box of this, of uh, Zendikar. Currently, this box is a lot cheaper than a fat pack. This fat pack is a lot cheaper than a fat pack of Battle for Zendikar which I don't know, Battle for Zen card does have battle expeditions, but it's not due to the packs themselves because Battle for Zen card packs are on par with Oath of the Gatewatch packs. I like the fat pack as a long-term hold. It is a very fun standalone draft set and they are becoming less common. So it used to be for $30, you could buy as many as you want. You could buy probably 200 of them at a retail. Um, so these came from Cool Stuff and they were $30 a piece. Uh, free shipping over I think $50. So then you just buy two of them, you get free shipping and you can collect points or something. I don't know, like it's kind of a weird system. These are getting much more difficult to find uh, for $30 or under. Um, and I like them because of the waste, the full art waste. I have a gut feeling that should magic keep growing the same way it's grown in years past. And this will be a very, very valuable land packet. The land packet itself might be worth $30 one day. Uh, it really depends on the waste. Um, the waste are very unique when you think of it as a land and to have a set amount of them guaranteed is always going to make these more expensive than not. So as a long-term hold, I like it for many reasons. It's a fun draft format by itself. In my opinion, with Battle for Zendikar, it's not that fun. Like Battle for Zendikar was not fun as a format. It doesn't feel, it didn't feel like Zendikar because Zendikar is landfall, right? You, you, you are doing cool stuff with landfall. And that was not what I ex expected. I would much rather open original Zen card than Battle for Zen card by a huge multiple, making it actually more reasonable for me to go out and buy the super expensive battle, a uh, super expensive original Zen card versus buying my much cheaper Battle for Zen card because it doesn't offer me the same ratio of entertainment. But these are something unique. I don't consider them part of the Zen card origin block. I just consider them, hey, th these are really big creatures, Reality Smasher, um, Thought Not Stare, Oblivion. I mean, these are just giant fatties that you can play pretty much in any deck. You can splash a waste for them and have fun with it. And this is the first time a six color. And that's what I've, we, when I was playing Magic, we always joked about a six color and it would be like purple, and the purple color would be really cool. But I'm, I'm very glad how the, they came up with the colorless because we've always had that, but we didn't have 
a 4 4. I, we didn't have a 5 5 trample haste with some, you know, pseudo protection on himself for 5. That, that, that's like crazy strong uh, back in my day. So, anyway, I, I like these a ton. Um, I would suggest if you find them at Walmart or at a Kmart, I don't know, it's Kmart, we still have Kmart, or at Walgreens. If you find these for retail at $40, it's probably worth picking them up. Long term wise, they have a protected value in the land packets. The land packets, should magic exist five years from now, will make up the entire value of the box itself. Anyway, bye guys.